Currently in our area, 17 degrees under cloudy skies. Here's our local Doppler radar. For tonight, light snow this evening will give way to a few snow showers late. Low, 14. Chance of snow, 80%. About one inch of snow expected. For Wednesday, mainly sunny, cold, high, 24. Winds west-northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. The week ahead. My commute home normally would take me all of seven minutes. I have been seen here for over an hour and a half. I've been sitting here for two hours. Hour and a half and I've only gone a mile. I've been in the car for two hours now, I've driven about a half a mile. Bumper to bumper, I have no idea what's going on. It's just, I don't know why it's not moving, but it's just, it's horrible. I slid a little bit, but it's hard to crash when you're going zero. I've never seen anything like this before, and I've lived in Boston. And I'm afraid we're gonna run out of gas. We're not gonna run out of gas, baby. I'm actually trying to talk my husband into parking the car, and we can just walk home. So scary. And the snow's coming down, and we can feel the temperature dropping. I just pray that everybody gets home safely. Just feel for folks who yeah. are stranded and trapped. Welcome back to the Weather Channel's continuing coverage of Winter Storm Leon. It's been a tough day for a lot of folks in the South, but particularly big cities like Atlanta mm -hmm. having to get in and get out and get around. That's right. We're joined now by Atlanta Mayor Kasim Reed. You made it through the snow to get I to our Weather Channel headquarters. Nice to I see you. To Thank you. Man. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm so glad he's here. You could have done it with 70 degrees, sir. It would have been uh, I heard very you nice. You have an excellent work ethic. Yeah, thank you. Well, we are working all day and all night. Let's start first with you know, a lot of people remember 2011. And a lot of people remember, remember that ice storm. I yeah. know you do. Yeah, four um, pieces of equipment. Or something. Yeah, what's the difference today versus well, you know, then? We've got 30 spreaders. We've got 40 snow plows. We actually have been practicing using the equipment. And uh, as you saw this morning, saw uh, we had uh, vehicles out preparing our roads, I saw our bridges, morning, our yeah. arterials are in advance. And so right now I'm just focused on getting the 1 million, 1.1 million people who are in the city during the day out. Mm -hmm. uh, we are we always have tough traffic and certainly the snow has made it tougher but once we get folks off the roads I think that people will see a noticeable difference in how fast we're able to get the city working again. Mayor, we're taking a live shot right now of the transportation issues that we're having that you were just talking about. And you were saying the problem today was the fact that <clears throat> everybody got on the roads at the same time, basically. Yeah, it, the, the one do over that I would like, Kelly, would have been for us to stagger um, the departures of the private businesses, schools, and of course government. Basically, we all let our employees out at the exact same time. Mm -hmm. So we contributed to the heavy traffic. So one of the takeaways that I will have is that we need to to stagger departures during during tough weather events. And for a city like Atlanta, that you don't have to deal with this every winter, you don't have to deal with it every couple of winters. So how do you begin to organize everyone in that once every few years to teach them how to step by step initiate this staggering onto the road surface policies? How are you gonna do that? Well, you know, I think uh, we just have to change, Sam. And folks, uh, folks don't have any tolerance for excuses. So we're better this time than we were before. Um, we have been rehearsing, installing our equipment, getting our vehicles out. This time we have 700,000 tons of sand mm. in the city limits. The last time we were trucking it in. Yeah. So the state is really taking the responsibility for the highways. And then we're using our police department uh, to try to clear accidents faster, for example. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just think that despite the fact that you don't frequently have snow uh, in the south, people just don't they don't want any excuses. So we spent more than $2.5 million on equipment that we probably use once every year, once every mm -hmm. two years. Yep. But that's what people expect. And uh, all we're going to do is get better at this snow business. What do you want folks to know uh, about tomorrow in Atlanta and overnight tonight? What, what do you want them? 
I said, we need folks to stay home. Mm -hmm. Give us some time to get out there, to work with the Georgia DOT, to identify the roads, and let our folks go to work. So we have people running in 12-hour shifts, 24 hours a day. We have the Joint Operations Center stood up. We've got uh, 30 spreaders, 40 snow plows, and we're expanding that uh, through private contractors. But we've got to have room to work. Mm -hmm. And the safest place is for people to be at home while we get the streets ready for them. And talk about emergency situations, because I know 911 was flooded today. Everybody Absolutely. was calling for simple little fender benders that only yes. involved one or two cars, but yes. for a while there, the police were saying, hey, please, only injury accidents yeah. call us. Well, Kelly, as you all know, uh, we prioritize our responses. So when you all started briefing us about the nature of this weather event, um, we started on bridges, on exits in front of police stations, fire stations, schools, and hospitals. So mm -hmm. folks need to understand that we de-ice roads uh, on a priority basis. So you might be looking outside of your door saying, why haven't they gotten there yet? It's because we're clearing the way in front of Grady Hospital. It's because we're clearing the street in front of a police uh, station so that police uh, can get out. Mm -hmm. So um, that's really what we were focused on early. We've now moved into the main arterials phase. So we've passed phase one. We're now in phase two. If I'm sitting at home and I feel like I need to reach out and reach you or tell somebody uh, what needs to be fixed or taken care of, what's the best way for someone to reach and get, get some assistance or get hurt? Um, on Twitter at Kasim Reed is a, is a way to make recommendations or suggestions. Um, if you are in harm's way or in danger, I still want folks to call 911. But please don't use 911 unless it's really an emergency because we've got to keep that open. But I've been following uh, my Twitter feed and, uh, and we have the Joint Operations Center stood up. We have more than a thousand video cameras. That, so we have eyes on the streets in the city of Atlanta and we can see the roads real time from the Joint Operations Center that we've stood up. All right, so if folks are sitting in traffic, you've got loved ones sitting in traffic, they should know that they're not alone. You That's guys right. have got eyeballs on we them. We do have eyes on them. They should know right. that. And Mayor. a website, too, that people can check? Um, obviously, Twitter's there. but Yeah, the City of Atlanta's website. Okay. Very easy to find. All right. I appreciate you so much for taking no, your welcome. time to come in, Mr. Mayor. No, you know what? I, I'd like to do this again you on the day a lot when, of the trees, channel. <laughs> when the trees are in bloom on a nice day. Let's do, <laughs> let's do that again. No. All right. Thank welcome. You, sir. Thank you. Mayor, All thanks right. for getting here safely and be, get home safely, too. Thank you, Kelly. Well, we want to bring in our storm specialist, Dr. Greg Postel. Because much like we've talked about Atlanta, moment by moment, step by step, there are several other cities that you need to know what's headed your way tonight and even tomorrow morning. So, Greg, what does it look like? Yeah, guys, well, you know, for good news for Atlanta is it's almost over. You can see the back side of the precipitation moving through. Let's have a look at the radar and show you what the current conditions are like.